Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. How predictable are you? Here is a 4x4 grid with the numbers 1 through 16 written in increasing order row by row. I want you to pick any number that's in the grid. Make a mental note of this number. If you want, you can circle the number. Now, I want you to pick another number. The only restriction is this number has to be in a different column and a different row than the first number. But you still have many numbers to pick from. I want you to repeat this one more time. Pick another number that's in a different column and a different row than the previous two numbers. And finally, repeat this one more time. Pick a fourth number that's in a different column and a different row than any of the three numbers. So let me illustrate how the game could have played out. Let's say the first number you picked was the number 10. Now I need you to pick another number, but one that's in a different column and a different row. So let's cross out all the other numbers in this column and cross out all the other numbers in the same row. So you now need to pick another number. So let's just say you pick the number seven. We now need to pick another number, but it needs to be in a different column and row than the previous numbers. So let's cross out this column and also this row. The next number you could have picked could have been one. Finally, you need to pick one more number that's from a different column and row. So let's just cross out this column and this row. And there's only one choice left, which will be the number 16. So now here's a prediction. There's no way I could have known what your first number was, your second number was, your third number was, or your fourth number. But the prediction is I can figure out the sum of these numbers. So I want you to add all these numbers together. So in this case, it'll be one plus seven plus 10 plus 16. And the prediction is you will always get the same number, which will be 34. And this will always work. This is a trick you will always win. So just to summarize, you ask someone to select four numbers where each number is in a different row and a different column from the other numbers. Then you tell them to add the numbers and the sum of the numbers will always be equal to 34, no matter how they pick the four numbers. Now you might be wondering, why does this trick work? That's the interesting part mathematically. This very problem appears on the Enrich website from the University of Cambridge. This is said to be a three-star challenge level for students age 11 to 14 years old. So why does this trick work? So let's first go through the process of considering how many different ways people can pick numbers. Let's imagine you first pick a number from the first row. How many options are there? There are four different options. Now, once we have picked a number, let's say we pick the number one, we have to cross out all numbers in the same row and the same column. So now, how many numbers could we pick from the second row? There are three different options. It will be one fewer option than the first choice. So this will be four multiplied by three. Now, once we pick a number in this row, let's say the number six, we cross out this row and this column, and now we need to pick a number from the next row. But now there is one fewer option, so we can only pick two possible options. Now let's say we pick the number 11, so we cross out this row and this column. And finally, the last number, there must be only one choice. There is actually no other number we could pick. So the total number of numbers that we could pick is four multiplied by three multiplied by two multiplied by one, which is four factorial, which equals 24. As far as magic tricks goes, it would be possible to enumerate all 24 different possibilities and just check that they all had the same magic sum. For example, we can easily verify the sum of the numbers in the diagonal is equal to 34, and we could work through the other possibilities. But this is not that interesting mathematically. It doesn't tell us anything about the structure of the trick, and there's no way to generalize this procedure. So let's look at it from a different angle. Let's imagine we pick four numbers that are in different rows, but they're all in the first column. This would not be a valid selection 
because we need the numbers to be in different columns. Now the sum of these four numbers is 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 13. But now we need to move three of the numbers to different columns. Now if we go from the first column to the second column, we're adding 1. If we go from the first column to the third column, we're adding 2. And if we go from the first column to the last column, we are adding 3. So in order to move three numbers to three new columns, one number will be plus 1, another number will be plus 2, and the third number will be plus 3 from its current value. So we need to add 1 plus 2 plus 3 to the sum of 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 13. And if we do this, we get the sum is equal to 34. And that's one way to see the magic sum is always constant at 34. Now in order to generalize the problem, I want to show one more approach. The idea will be to derive a formula for each cell based on the row and the column number. So let's try to understand what happens when we increase the column number. When we go from column 1 to column 2, we are increasing by 1. When we go from column 2 to column 3, we are also increasing by 1. And the same thing happens when we go from column 3 to column 4. Now what happens when we increase the row number? We are going to go from 1 to 5, which will be an increase of 4. When we go from row 2 to row 3, we are also increasing 4. And when we go from row 3 to row 4, we are increasing by 4. So the formula will essentially increase 1 each time we're increasing the column number, and it needs to increase 4 each time we're increasing the row number. But in this case, we want row minus 1 because we're starting at the number 1. So if we know a row and a column number, we know that the value in the cell will be 4 multiplied by the row minus 1 plus the column number. So let's distribute the 4 and let's just simplify the formula. So if we know a row and a column number, we know that the value of the cell will be equal to 4r plus c minus 4. So now we need to pick four different numbers and the numbers need to be in different rows and different columns. Let's denote these numbers as r1c1 r2c2, r3c3, and r4c4. We want the sum of all of these values. This will be the sum of 4ri plus ci minus 4, where i goes from 1 to 4. If we expand this out, we can group all of the rows and group all of the columns. So we end up with 4 multiplied by the sum of the rows plus the sum of the columns minus 4 multiplied by 4. But we know we must pick every number from a different row and a different column. So the rows must be 1, 2, 3, and 4, and the columns must be 1, 2, 3, and 4 in some order. So we know that R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and the same thing goes for the sum of the columns. So each of these will be equal to 10. So this formula simplifies to be 4 multiplied by 10 plus 10 minus 4 times 4, which simplifies to be 34. And therefore, the magic sum is equal to 34. While this method may have looked a little difficult and tedious, the beauty is we can now generalize. We can modify this proof to show the same prediction trick will work on the transpose of these numbers, where we have the numbers written in increasing order, column by column. The trick will also work for the mirror image of this 4x4 grid. Furthermore, the trick will even work on a 5x5 grid. If you ask someone to pick five numbers, where each number is in a different row and a column from the previous number, you will always end up with the same magic sum. Now what's the sum in this case? We can modify the proof to show that the formula for each cell will be 5 multiplied by the row number plus the column number minus 5. We add these all up together and we know the sum of the row numbers will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. The same thing goes for the column numbers and we work it out and we get the magic sum will be equal to 65. 
and this is another wonderful prediction trick. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.